Hey folks, radar has been mainly quiet over the valley this afternoon and still is right now. The showers mostly offshore. We've seen a couple of them flare up up in Star County. We're watching off to the west of us. There you see it right now, just within the last 10 minutes, a couple of showers showing up in the mountains, and that may be the sign of things to come. At least that's what we're watching for tonight. But over the valley itself, very quiet right now and likely to stay that way for a few more hours. We'll watch and see if that stuff in Mexico can turn into what the models are suggesting that it will as this last piece of energy slides through the valley late tonight, early tomorrow. These are the current temperatures. It's been in the 60s all day long because that front swept through pre dawn. Instead of taking all day, it was through by the time we woke up this morning and most of the valley started the day in the low 60s and just stayed there. Now tomorrow, I think we're back up close to 80 across the area, but first we have to get this stuff through here tonight and give us that chance for a shower. And then after that, we will dry out. That's if we get those showers. 79 tomorrow, that's above the average of 71. 82 Friday, and look at Saturday, 88 degrees. It's January, almost 90. Probably set a record in a couple of spots. Now, this is satellite radar together. Showed the spotty showers went through this morning, but clouds have really dominated the day and will likely dominate the night. But notice how Future Track takes that line of showers through probably between about 8 a.m. and 3 or 4 a.m. At least that's what it's suggesting now. Could even be an embedded thunderstorm within that, although without the heating today, we stayed cooler, the atmosphere not as unstable, so rain the most likely scenario. Can't rule out a thunderstorm, though. And then tomorrow afternoon, the clouds move out slowly but surely, and most of us end up with at least some sunshine by afternoon hours. Friday, at least Friday morning, the clouds begin to come back in and they stick around for at least part of the day. So it's a mix in clouds and sun on Friday and then Saturday, probably more sun than clouds. And that's when temperatures are off to the races with readings up near 90. Our best chance of rain comes early tomorrow, really tonight, probably 40% overnight. But then during the daytime tomorrow near the coast, 20% chance of something left over. And then after that, we dry it out for Friday and Saturday. Remember yesterday that front was sitting just off to the west, so we were warmer than the rest of the state. State. Well, now the front's pushed eastward, so now we've cooled off like just about everybody else in Texas. There is the front. It's the upper air low. This little disturbance is going to slide through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. It could help to trigger that shower or thunderstorm. Once that gets by, we dry out temporarily, and then another front shows up on the map on Saturday. That's the front that will still be to our north most of the day, so Saturday, a very warm day. Front comes through Saturday night, bringing drier and cooler air in for the second half of the weekend. So for tonight, about 60 temperatures don't go much of anywhere, mainly cloudy with just a few showers around an isolated thunder shower can't be ruled out. Then tomorrow clouds and maybe a shower early, especially near the coast by afternoon, some sunshine back up to 79 degrees. 82 on Friday, 88 on Saturday. Front comes in windy, no rain with that front. Windy and cooler, but still 76 on Sunday. Back to 76 without the wind on Monday and plenty of sunshine. Tuesday at 85, another front cools it off for a little bit for the middle of next week. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast.